2020-2021 was probably arguably the weirdest, maybe even the worst years in a long, long time. Let's talk about this. COVID-19. I'm pretty sure you already know what it is. I think you've seen it all on the news. Some people would arguably call it propaganda, the way it's getting pushed on, on the headlines in the media every day. You wake up, you see corona, corona, this, this and that. Being honest, in my opinion, yeah, I do look at it a little bit as propaganda because they keep on pushing it forward. Any time I'm on the news, COVID, COVID, goddamn nothing else. But yeah, I could arguably say, maybe you're right, maybe you're not. This was a very strange year, and it is still a very, very odd year, to say none the least. Uh, nothing has gotten better, really. It's actually gotten only worse. And not just COVID-wise, but also just financially, economically. Countries have gone down the drain because of this whole pandemic. People are protesting because the government isn't funding the people that really need the money. You've got people that have lost their lives because of COVID. You have people that work in hospitals that can tell you what it really is like. Um, so let's really explain what this whole COVID thing is. I've got my trusty phone, Google here, because, you know, we want to get the facts straight. So what does COVID-19 really stand for? If you don't know, CO stands for Corona, V for virus, and D for disease. Formerly, this disease was referred to as 2019 Novel Coronavirus or 2019 NCOV. Actually, pretty strange looking at it now. I only thought it was something that happened in the beginning of 2020, but apparently it was already a thing at the start of 2019 November. That's uh, pretty scary, man, when you think about it, how long this thing has been. We're going into, like close to two years then basically really for me in my personal experience uh, i thought it was amazing when i first heard about this whole thing well not really necessarily amazing but just like oh god damn this is weird a little bit strange different uh, okay it's cool i suppose just like something else it comes and it goes like the flu comes once uh, every while you know people get the flu they feel sick after a while they get and intend to get better some survive some don't you know i guess it's survival of the fittest you can say it as messed up as it sounds but it's it's a little bit true though right so uh, I was like, okay, this is great, I suppose, right? Uh, cool. Well, I'm not sure what this is supposed to mean. I think a lot of us didn't know what this COVID was, what it could do. Um, but basically, the COVID-19 virus is a new virus linked to the same family of viruses as severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and some types of common cold. What causes COVID-19? Now, a lot of people in the beginning said that this was because of China. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it did grow or come from China, if I'm not mistaken. There were conspiracies of someone people saying or claiming it it was because of the fact that someone ate a bet uh could be i don't know really honestly don't give a crap because god damn it we need to stop this thing um but a lot of countries don't have it under good control and we in the netherlands have had a lockdown for a very long time uh a lockdown which was we even had curfew hours which meant that basically after a certain amount of certain time zone you were not allowed to go outside unless you had a dog or you had yeah how do you say sent by the government with what sort of letter you can go outside to your work etc if you didn't have a dog outside the time didn't have a letter you got a goddamn fine which was like a hundred dollar plus and it uh, appeared that the government had made millions of euros uh, just this year in, just in general on fines of these corona booters as they say in the Netherlands um, they were taking it goddamn serious uh, like they were taking people they were being very serious uh, if you didn't you know you hold your distance at certain places with cops hunt having they'd give you a goddamn fine uh, a lot of people were against it and even i have to be green why why hurt people's pocket financially you know uh, but that's just how i am so covid 19 is caused by infection with a severe acute inspiratory syndrome coronavirus and even i have to be honest man, in this in the beginning i was like god damn what does this mean for like my school because the thing i was mostly scared and a little bit kind of worried about was how is this is going to potentially affect my exams because i i had to do school year again uh luckily i could say i don't think if if it wasn't for this whole thing this pandemic i swear to god i probably wouldn't have gotten my diploma this year and i'm just keeping it very, very honest here um even though i learned a lot worked a lot i don't believe i would have made it if it wasn't for this um because the thing is that this whole covid thing in the beginning um they didn't know what really to do, so they were like, oh god damn, um, how does, what's this going to be for the exam, exam kids? Because uh, school was basically so good, it's closed, you could only go like once a week, um, this and that, and eventually, we didn't have to wear masks, thank god we didn't have to wear masks, but it was very different, none of us really took it serious in the beginning of class, because we were just like, this is probably just like something else, it comes and it goes, but uh, no, apparently not, it's still here. Uh, you've also got the people that say, the government has planned this, this and that, I'm not going to say you're weird. Everyone has their own spirit conspiracies. That's cool. Your own theories. Um, you know, if you think that the government has planned this, that's cool. Then that's your opinion. Um, I'm not going to say that I 
you know, agree with it or not because I'm not really deeply interested in the subject as you could potentially be. Might, you might actually know more than I do, and that's probably true as well. Um, so people often ask, what, how does coronavirus eliminate? The new coronavirus lets let its spiky servers produce the receptors on healthy cells, especially those in your lungs. Spe- specially, specifically, sorry, the viral proteins bust into the bust into cells through ACE2 receptors. Once inside the coronavirus, hijacks healthy cells and takes comment. Eventually, it eliminates some of the healthy cells. So basically, I saw this video I think a week ago. It was about how a certain group in a restaurant in America, I think it was America, uh, got the coronavirus, and the other persons didn't because of air ventilation. Now the thing is, if they've said as well, the word's very important is circulation um, that's in a shop so that it stays as much as possibly on one side, or one air, instead of spreading and mask as well. I'll be very honest, I am not a person who prefers masks, uh, but hey, it is what it is. God knows what I can do about it, about the mask, yes. I'm not a person who really likes wearing it, but it is what it is. Uh, now it's legally a thing. I think it was a couple of months ago. Uh, the first time the mask thing got introduced, at least on public transportation, was the 1st of June, I think. Uh, I believe. Yeah, and then, like, the masks in, like, the stores publicly, 1 December, I think, or 1 January. Um, I'm just going to keep it very honest. Do I personally think they work? I don't know, I'm not a scientist, God knows, I don't really know, I haven't searched it up, but um, yeah, if people say it works, then it works, I suppose, right? Um, but it's definitely been a very strange year, to say none the least, and I'll just be very honest with you guys. The other hand, in the beginning, I was like, this is great, you know, but then afterwards you find out, it's shit, because it doesn't really benefit you at an eventual point anymore, does it anymore, really? You know what I mean? It's the same with, it's not really a good example, you know, but... I liked it in the beginning because I could go to school on my tempo, this and that. But eventually, I started to realize things were getting shut down because of highest people people getting in more often, you know. But at an eventual point, I was like, "Yeah, God damn it, I'm done watching the news for a while." Because I was just eventually getting so sick and tired of every time I opened the goddamn news, COVID, this, this and that. I was like, oh, "Are you guys goddamn serious? You've got nothing else to discuss? This, uh, come on." I know this is a very big thing within society right now, but can I just see something else than goddamn COVID the whole time? I was eventually just done with the news, and I was like, I'm not going to watch the news. I, in general, don't really watch the news, only when it's football. So I was like, yeah, you know what? Now I don't even watch the goddamn news anymore. Never been a fan of the news, because I always say the media... I'm sorry, but I'm just I'm one of those people that think the media not always tells the, the truth. And I'm not saying that the media lied, but I am saying that the media doesn't always tell you the truth. It's the same with you wanting to hear what you want to hear, instead of actually hearing the facts behind a certain story. You, 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 you kind of get what I'm saying? So I was, I was like, oh, damn no, I don't want to hear this stuff anymore. I, I closed the news, and then more things got closed. Schools got closed. Uh, football clubs were closed. Couldn't play no goddamn matches. You could only play matches if you were paid. Uh, like professional at least, uh, but I think paid also for it, fell under it, so we couldn't do no matches, still can't, God knows why we can't do matches, but you know, you can walk with 100 plus people in a supermarket, that's all good and handy, but you can't play a game against 11, 11. It's, it's a goddamn joke, I'm just saying, I think it's just really odd, you can have 100 people walking in the goddamn jumbo, with a mask on, that's cool, yet you can't have a football game 11 v 11, when it's open, it's air, that's just my this is, I think it's really odd, you know, it just, for me, it just doesn't make sense, but maybe there's a reason behind it, but like I said, I'm not, really deep, I'm not really deep into the subject, and that could potentially be some things that I'm missing out, or not mentioning, if that's the case, definitely go drop it down in the comments, and I want to know what you guys think about this whole year, very strange year, it still is, uh, I don't go to school at the moment, I've chosen on purpose, because I was like, god damn, this is going to get worse, and I was right, after my diplomas, I was like, this is just going to get worse. There's no way I can apply for a goddamn school right now and accept to work properly, functionally, function normally in a class. The chances they'll shut down the schools completely, that is that. And bam, it happened. Not not too long after, it happened. Schools got shut down completely. Had, everyone had to work online, at home. A lot of problems, this and that, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't want to be a part of that problem and think, yeah, I don't want to wake up at 8 in the morning every time and... And this, this is not my thing, it's not the way I want to live. I want to live a normal life. And I am one of those people that needs a book physically in front of my hands, or just at least in me, to actually learn. I can't learn via the internet, because why? I have all the access. I've got my camera, my email, 
Internet Explorer. In a book, you got nothing. Just a nice paper. I like smelling papers, so God knows why, but I've always been a big fan of smelling papers. But this COVID has definitely just been strange. It's been a strange year. I don't think any of us really like it, let's be honest here. Maybe some of us enjoyed it in the beginning. I honestly didn't think it was bad in the beginning, um, but now it has gotten worse. And I'm just hoping that they can open the gyms soon. I hope we can just play football matches normally because we can train. Um, but we can't play football matches, which is a little bit frustrating because I, I like playing football matches. I don't know when this is over. I don't think any of us really can tell or knows when this whole thing is over. Some people even say that this is blown out of proportion. Um, yeah. What else can I really say that it's just been a very strange year plus already for us and the fact that the time has gone so crazy fast is even crazier. Thank you so much for watching man. Peace out.